Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today uh, we'll be looking at how we can set up access log overlay for OpenLDAP server. So here in this video, like uh, what we are going, uh, trying to achieve is uh, we are going to set up a feature of uh, OpenLDAP server that is access log overlay and uh, we will be uh, trying to use this uh, module or overlay in order to uh, like change the behavior of the slabd server and we will see like how we can capture uh, the details of the uh, the requests that are uh, getting uh, processed by the overlay uh, in a logging database uh, for further review so let us see like how we can achieve this in this video so i am currently working on ubuntu 22.04 uh, wherein I'll be installing uh, the OpenLDAP server and setting up the overlay feature. So let us uh, try to uh, briefly understand what is OpenLDAP overlay. So OpenLDAP comes with uh, different uh, uh, modules and functions uh, which we can uh, use in order to enhance the behavior of the OpenLDAP server. So as the uh, basically when uh, initially the open lab development uh, started uh, like uh, it was like everything was compiled into a, a slab D uh, binary uh, but as the code complexity has grown uh, like they started to think about modularizing the uh, source code in such a way that uh, the open lab behavior can be changed dynamically by uh, loading modules. Uh, using the configuration files. So that is where the uh, OpenLDAP overlay feature uh, started coming into picture uh, wherein we can uh, change the behavior uh, uh, of the OpenLDAP server uh, using a, 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 a code uh, which will be dynam dynamically loading into the slabd server using the, over, uh, the module features. So uh, basically, uh, these modules uh, can be compiled uh, directly into the slabd uh, binary or they can be loaded dynamically using the configuration file as I stated. And there are multiple uh, overlays uh, that are available in OpenLDAP, Open uh, but here in this uh, video, like we are going to look at specifically the access logging uh, overlay which will help us in capturing the requests that are received by the slabd daemon and log them into the logd data uh, logging database so let us get into the procedure uh, of implementing this uh, uh, feature so as a first step or like what we are going to do is we are going to build and install the open app with access log overlay so uh, you can uh, go through my last uh, like previous video wherein we have seen like how we can download and in, uh, like extract the open and tap source code and from there like we can follow these steps uh, in order to configure the open and tap script uh, which we will be using to install uh, compile and install the open and tap server uh, but here like we are additionally passing this option that is enable access log so basically like we are asking uh, the, uh, like we are configuring the open and up binary in such a way that the enable access log uh, the access log module is uh, uh, like uh, loaded uh, within the binary like compiled basic uh, compiled in the binary itself so these are the steps that you can follow wherein you can configure uh, with that uh, enable access log option and compile the dependencies compile the open and up uh, by uh, source code and then you can install the package so once that is done like you will have your open LDAP uh, ready so I'm going to directly go into that folder wherein I have uh, the source code extracted and uh, compiled uh, with compiled and installed with these steps so let us now go into our next step that is creating a database configuration file with access logging overlay so here like what we are going to do is uh, we are going to basically use the default uh, slabd.ld file that is uh, present uh, with uh, that is available for us uh, with the open ldap installation so let me show you that so if you go into 
user local etc open ldap slab t dot ld file here like you will see the default uh, uh, configuration uh, database uh, uh, configuration file available for slab t uh, which you can take it up as a reference and try to modify it to uh, update uh, update it with the overlay feature so this is the file uh, that we are going to take as a reference and update it so you can take it and update it so let me show you the updated file now and we'll try to understand what exactly uh, we are uh, like adding into the default configuration file over here so let me go into my first line so this section the config section and the global arguments are going to be the same and here like i'm going to remove this tls section which i have added previously uh, for the tls setup and we are also going to remove this sasl uh, configuration for authentication we are not going to use this one for this demo and uh, we'll keep the modules and schema section as it is we'll keep the include uh, like uh, files uh, as it is uh, though we will need only the the core and the inet org person but that is fine uh, now it is uh, the database the front end database is going to be holding the uh, the global uh, settings for all the databases so that should be uh, as it is and here is the thing that we are going to modify the lmdb database configuration uh, so here like uh, i'm going to use this database for uh, holding the stack.com uh, directory tree and we have provided the root dn and root password which is uh, unrestricted user for this uh, ldf directory and he and we have provided that uh, database uh, location wherein the uh, database files will be stored for this uh, suffix that is stack.com and we have provided uh, a set of indexes these are almost the same but you can just update it as per uh, what you can see over here and we have pro uh, provided the uh, access control restrictions using acl uh, by uh, the following direct use so here also like uh, let me uh, just yeah so that is the same thing so that you can put it as it is so this is the database uh, which we are already uh, like using or you must uh, you must have already configured but the thing that we are going to uh, append uh, to this uh, database uh, that is the primary database is the overlay uh, feature so here like we are going to add this entry that is overlay access log to the primary database that is the first database uh, which is mdb database and we need to add uh, these object classes in order to uh, like uh, uh, use the following attributes so here like we are using this uh, olc overlay uh, directive in order to enable the access log feature and uh, these are the parameter uh, these are the attributes that we are uh, like basically uh, adding to this uh, dn uh, or the d entry so access log db is where uh, the access log uh, entries basically like whatever requests are coming to the slab d are going to be stored uh, in this uh, cn is equal to log uh, database and what type of uh, logs or the requests that we are going to st uh, store is all but there are different uh, types of requests that we can store like read write and, uh, and like uh, search like different uh, types of uh, requests that we uh, do with the LDAP server like uh, we usually do a bind and search and unbind so these these are only uh, three requests that i have mentioned but there are different uh, uh, requests that you can carry out with the open LDAP. but right now like we are going to capture all the uh, all the uh, operations that we are uh, doing with the slab d 
and this is the uh, log hold basically like if there are any uh, like entries are uh, modified or deleted uh, like we can just use this filter in order to uh, basically uh, capture those uh, requests so this is the only thing that we are going to append to our primary database so that the overlay feature is going to be utilized for that database and coming to the next uh, database that is uh, going to be the the database uh, in order to hold our C, uh, the logging uh, entries so here like we are going to use uh, the similar uh, uh, snippet of the code uh, but we are going to modify the suffix we are go going to update our update our uh, uh, dn uh, like uh, cn is equal to log to have a user uh, that is root dn and root password in order to manage this one but that is not required uh, but we can keep it as it is and this is a directory wherein the the logging request will be stored and we are going to use the request start uh, db index uh, for performance uh, so that uh, we can match uh, like filter with this request start attribute and the access uh, that the, uh, the access control that we are going to provide to this uh, suffix is uh, to everybody uh, we are going to provide the read access so these are the only two uh, updates uh, that we have uh, done uh, to our ld file uh, so basically we have add added the overlay features for our uh, mdb database that is the primary database and we have created a a directory or the database mdb database to hold those entries for us so let me close this file uh, okay let me save this file and uh, now let us go, uh, go into our documentation and see the next step the next step is going to be uh, like so basically our ld file is ready now we can uh, validate or do a dry run of that file to ensure that the configuration is looking fine and we will see like what entries it will be creating in our slapd configuration <coughs> so as you can see like it is going to add the following uh, uh, entries into our slapd.d uh, location that is the configuration database location so now the the configuration uh, the LDF configuration looks good so we can just do the execution without the hyphen u and hyphen c options So now, like uh, we have created our uh, slab uh, configuration databases uh, in the slab D location. So you can just look at it. Uh, the overlay access uh, LD file uh, that has uh, got created in the following location. So let me show you. Let me clear my screen. And we are going to just uh, do a cat on the following uh, OLC database. Uh, primary database this is the primary database and underneath this uh, like we have configured the over OLC overlay feature that is the access lock feature so we are going to just add this and you can see this is the same entries that we have added into our LD file that has got uh, created uh, in this configuration location so once this is validated uh, you're good like uh, with the configuration now the next step the step three is uh, like we are going to add database entries uh, to the LDAP directory. So here, like I'm going to use this LD file. So let me show you uh, this LD file. So this is the same LD file that we have used in our previous uh, uh, demos uh, for the TLS and uh, for uh, the build and uh, installation of the Open LDAP server. So we are going to create some organization roles, organization, we are going to create an organization, we are going to create these two organization roles uh, in order to manage our LDAP directory and we are going to create this organization unit that is DevOps in order to hold this three users that is Mark, Bob and Alice.
So this is a simple L, very basic LDAP, uh, LDAP file uh, that we are going to load into our LDAP directory. So now that we have looked at the LDAP file uh, to load the data, uh, we can just validate that LDAP file using the same command. Like here, uh, we are not passing uh, the uh, hyphen n option because this is not a, a configuration database that we are trying to add, but this is uh, entries that we are going to add into our uh, LDAP server. So here, like we are going to use this uh, hyphen u and hyphen c options to do a dry run. Uh, so let us see. Okay, so I missed the s. So let me do the dry run. So as you can see, it is going to add the following entries to our LDAP directory under the stack.com suffix. So now uh, the dry run is looking good. So we can just remove these two options and load the data into our LDAP directory tree. So our data is loaded into the LDAP, uh, LDAP server. Now what we can do is we can go into our next step that is step 4 starting up the LDAP service. So we can just go ahead and uh, use the slabd binary and start up the LDAP service and we are going to pass the, the location for the slabd uh, configuration database. This is the location and let's start it. So our slabd daemon should be up and running. So this is the process that is up and running. Uh, we can just do a, a basic validation by using uh, doing the LDAP search for a, a particular common name. So we are going to do this LDAP search using the basic uh, authentication uh, and we are going to search under this base uh, domain uh, with this following uh, bind DN and we are going to provide the password using this option and we are going to search for cn is equal to bob and the bind dn uh, password is going to be the password for the bob okay so now you can see the ldap search has been successful so our data is ready and we have validated now the important section uh, important part is in the step 6 validating the access log database so we have so as I stated initially, like we have created a separate uh, database in order to load, uh, hold our access log entries uh, that, uh, that, is under, uh, that is going to be under uh, the suffix cn is equal to log. So we are going to use that base and we are going to search uh, for uh, search for entries in that uh, suffix using the following LDAP search query. So here you can see there are multiple entries that you uh, got in response. So we can just go through this one. So the uh, so initially before doing this LDAP search, uh, like we have done a LDAP search uh, to search for an alias, uh, search for a common name uh, of Bob. So what happens with that LDAP search is it uh, does a bind basically authenticates first uh, with the uh, the bind dn that we have provided once the bind is successful it is going to do a search for uh, so it is going to do a search request type search for this uh, entry or the uh, using this filter and uh, with the following bind dn okay so this is the second uh, operation that is going to be carried out as a part of that uh, query and the third one is it is going to unbind. So basically once the uh, request has been served it is going to unbind the connection. So this is what the basic uh, access logging uh, that we are uh, that we can uh, capture uh, into a, a OpenLDAP uh, database uh, under the suffix cn is equal to log. So this uh, here like we are as I mentioned like we are capturing all the requests. So if you want to specifically uh, capture only modify or delete requests so you can do so by modifying the uh, slabd 
uh, LD file that uh, I have initially shown with it. So we'll just go to that file. So here, like uh, this is the access log operations that we have used it all, but you can just mention uh, here read, write, uh, mod, uh, RDN. So these type of operations uh, that are specific operations that you want to capture, you can update this uh, directive as per your requirement. So this is what like uh, I wanted to show you uh, in this video, like how we can uh, utilize the overlay uh, feature of OpenLDAP in order to uh, modify the behavior of the slabd daemon uh, and capture the request that we are getting to the slabd server for auditing purpose. So this is basically some kind of uh, like additional code you can see like overlay code uh, that we have added on top of the slabd daemon uh, in order to enhance our slabd uh, features so I, I hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day